Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pep Qualia Juventus career mode. In the last episode, we decided to go for it all. We simulated right to the end of the season when we find ourselves playing Napoli in the Coppola Italia final, where both teams went at it all, but in the end, it went down to pennies, where Pep Guardiola's side, Juventus clutched up and won their first bit of silver under Pep and that season. Unfortunately though, we did fail short in the league, though only finishing fourth in the season, which leads us into today in season two of a fresh start for Pep and Juventus. So going through the squad here, also we need to make changes if we want to win the league. I'm talking about putting this man Vlahovic on the transfer list, getting even more money, which I will reveal in a minute. He just wasn't really putting up the numbers. Near the end of the season he was, but the likes of links towards us with Kulimiane, I think he'd be a better replacement right there. But we've also got people like Danilo getting a bit older, so he could potentially leave. We've got people coming back from loan as well from Pellegrini as well and our new youngster in Elia Moretti here an excellent prospect he was a potentially special I do believe but at 18 and 75 overall he's definitely going to be a backup striker with Kyle Georgia right there now looking at our budget this season of our 232 million we have got a lot of players to potentially get in this team and there is one right at the bottom that might have just caught everyone's eye in Lionel Messi a player I wasn't really expected to bring in this but he has linked it with Pep before in his heyday and also with Ronaldo being a Juventus, I wonder how Lionel Messi could come up with right there. And especially on a free. I don't know how that's happened. It's an absolute steal. But looking at the other players at the moment, don't have rumour. It's got to be probably the first sign right here. Swap the deal with Chesney. Mudrik as well. We saw him at Monza last season. He was very good. Gone back now to Chelsea as it was a loan spell. Oshin men. Also gone to United. Could be a lot of money right there. But we have got a big budget. But I'm thinking Rando Koulomiani could be the man to do the bits right here. And they also with Soler as well for a potential backup right there. The only thing that throws me off of him is that he's got the injury prospect right there. So it's a bit iffy, but I think he'd be a very good rotation of centre-back slash left-back right back into the team. And of course, lastly, Jeremy Fringpong. But right further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we've got 230 odd million to spend. Let's see if we can get Donnarumma as our first signing for Season 2. Come on. So here he is then, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it a reality. We have done the deal with a swap deal. With Chesney, with a lot of money. A lot of money. About 90 plus million we paid for this man with Chesney. But he is one of the world's best goalkeepers. And being an Italian, coming back to the Italian league, is suited him right there. Foden Barella, just talking to him right there. Condoning him into the new team. He's going to be a big threat in our goalkeeper. Massive keeper indeed. It's going to be hard for teams to score against him. But there's our new number one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who we get in next. So here he is then. Lionel Messi. Is that Juventus? His time has come. He's finally flown over. The main man, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, has arrived. We have changed Phil Foden's number back to 47 because this man only gets one number. Not the number 30, but the number 10. Of course it's the number 10. We got him on a free. He's got to do bits in Siri out here today. Welcome, Lionel Messi. So here we have then, ladies and gentlemen, our third signing, and it goes to one of your suggestions in Solette. He comes from Leicester to the Germany. He's come over to the Italian side. This one is for a free. We just went, you know what, screw it. A straight swap to fill for Danilo. They've got a good centre-back, and now we've got a young talent in Solette joining the side. Like I said, we might as well go for a free. We've got a lot of money, and if we want to bring in some more players, we want to save as much as possible. So he comes in here, our new rotational backup. Welcome, Solette. So with some of the new players joining the team, we can now have a look for our season objectives from the board. Got the youth development here in the medium bracket. I don't feel I'm going to matter too much with this one as it is one as well as medium. But we have got Moretti coming back, so I feel like he is our star prodigy. So probably not going to do that one right there. Brad Exposure gets five uh, clean sheets in the home games. Pretty easy. Within three seasons, sign for the best players in the world. Remaining three, two or four completed. Fair enough indeed. Pretty much have already done that. And domestic success, they want us to do the double right there. And they want us to reach the final in the Champions League. I mean, with the side we have, and being Pep, and also bringing in the GOAT of football in Lionel Messi, I definitely think it's possible. So, the gentlemen finally got some deals coming through here with the transfer hub. As you can see, with Luca Pellegrini and Cabrasco, I quickly just blocked them out right there because I do not want them to be leaving the side. Same with Zakaria. He's a fan favourite. We do not want him to leave right there. But two massive offers for two massive players. One in for 120 million is ridiculous but he's going nowhere he is the main man of this team he is the one that leads us to victory he's getting blocked but Vlahovic here 121 million 
That is ridiculous. I'll tell you what, we're going to negotiate. I'm going to try and get 140, but I'll take 120 from Chelsea right there. Obviously, did big Ted Bodie in real life splash in the cast. They want to improve with the Siberian up top. Can they get him? That's the question. We're going to have to talk with Pep Guardiola right here. Let's just skip this. Let's just throw in a nice cheeky 140 million bid. See if they will pay the extra bit of cash. 243 will have that in the budget in the top left-hand corner. What are they going to say for this then? Let's meet a halfway. Can we agree the deal? Yeah, I'll tell you what. We'll agree to that. 130 million has been a gift for Vlahovic to Chelsea. Here we go, Fabrizio. We will see it in the near future. There's confirmation as well, ladies and gentlemen, that Dujan Vlahovic has gone to Chelsea. We didn't get a cutscene with him, which is very strange. But the A-plus right there, he is gone. But who is going to be the replacement striker? Let's find out. That's it, guys. You have asked for him. Kolo Miane signs for Juventus. The new number nine. We all knew it was going to be him at the end of the day. He is the one to join this team. He's a very good player. He's a very good player, the Frenchman. I think he's going to slot in very well over Vlahovic. Vlahovic was very, like I said, he was very awkward to play with. He was very stale. He was very just very stiff. But our new number nine comes in. He's more agile. He's more quick. He's more pacier. And I think he'll link with more like with Foden, Messi, and Theresa. So much better than Vlahovic. Welcome, Kiolimiani. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't help myself. I wanted this player with the very first season, if anyone can remember. Bernardo Silva. Reunited with Pep once again with Phil Foden and Cole Palmer. It's another City player. He's an unbelievable talent. He was very uh, linked to go to numerous clubs. But I think he's decided to stay in Man City now. But in this crew today, we have Brian Mowicz of Venice in Season 2. He will be slotting behind Phil Foden. And assigned Barrell in that centre mid role. Welcome, Bernardo Silva. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, our last signing, I do believe. Because we are getting very, very low money. I think we're about 3 mil now. So we definitely need to sell some players whilst we go through the calendar. But it is Mudrik. We wanted to get him in from his brilliant performance and when we played against him against Monza. He comes in. He's come back for Chelsea. But now he's making the permanent move to Juventus. We like to look at him. He's a quality player. And we needed that back up on the wing as well. So he comes in. Well done to Mudrik. So here have it then, ladies and gentlemen. The team for season two with Pep. Just look at the team now. I mean, the GOAT in right wing. Colomiano, the new striker. Bernardo Silva linking back up with Phil Foden. New signs as well with Mudrik coming in as well. With Weyer and left wing Mudrik as well. Coming as like I guy said, and back up Rose. Moretti, the youngster, our baller, our talented Italian as our backup striker right there. And new sign in Soler as well to rotate with lacrosse. Zakar and our captain Bremen, which I will actually change actually. I'll tell you what, Lionel Messi will be our captain. I believe he might have the leadership role. I wonder if anyone's got in the leadership role here. Let's have a little look. If not, we might just keep it. As you know, you know what? We're not going to give it to Messi. We're going to give it to Barella. He was one of the captains last season. So he stays right there on the captain's role. Just going to get Messi to cut inside there. I think Kyodomani stays central and be our target man with Foden. Going up and Barella staying back whilst Bernardo commits forward as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is the team for Season 2. Our first game, I do believe, is against Cromosse at home at the Allianz Stadium. The question is, how will we do at the end of the season? Let's find out. Let's go. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have simmed it up to the last games of the season. The question is, how has Juventus under Pep this season got along right here? Let's have a little quick look here. It looks like our last game is against Inter... I'll tell you what, it comes down to the last game. Jesus, they're on 83, we're on 80. If we win this game, we will win on goal difference, unless they score about 16 goals, which is, let's be honest, never going to happen right there. It comes down to the last game of the season. Milan's below us, Florentina, Roma, but it's Inter and Juventus banning out for the Serie A title. We should have been favourites, but in the fair play to them, they're doing really well. Let's see how we're doing with the other cups as well before we get into that. The Super Cup here. We won the Super Cup against Inter, so they'll be looking for the revenge on the league today. So that's one trophy down already. Coppa d'Italia, let's have a look at that one. And we won that as well. We are on potentially for the treble. We are winning everything. What about the Champions League? That will top it off for the quadruple. And we're in the final against PSG. Of course, it's PSG. Let's have a look at the semi-finals. It's 6-1 on aggregate. 5-0 away with the Barcelona. How's that happen then? 
How was that happen then? I mean, it looks like Milan as well could have potentially gone through, but Paris have beaten them away 3-0. But 5-0 away to Barcelona is ridiculous. But, I mean, the likes of Messi in this team, Foden, Chueza, we know he's good as well. Cooling me on, he's probably done really well as well. I can't believe it, but very fair ado. Let's get into this last game of the season and see if we can complete the treble and then possibly offer the quadruple against PSG in the Champions League final. Let's go. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Lanus today against Inter. And my God, look at our team. Phil Foden on 91, Abrella 90, Silva 89. Messi obviously going down in rain because of obviously due of old age. But with the stuff that we've done already this season, surely he's paying up the stats there, which is unbelievable. Kulimian as well going up a bit. Chueza, Mendy, everyone's gone off. Donnarumma 92 overall goalkeeper. Nothing hopefully is going to get past him, as we've seen from the table so far. Looking at in his team, though, you can see why they're top of the league. Dan Juman, Martinez, El Marati, Kovacic, Brozovic, Skriniar, the list goes on and on. But can we do it today? Can we beat Inter for the second time? We've already took one trophy off them. Can we do it with the league as well? Let's get into this. So here we are then, the match day Ferrier at the Allianz Stadium is our home advantage against Inter. Probably the biggest game in world football at the moment, I would say. Whoever wins this lists the title. A massive game for both sides. Can Juventus claim of being the champions of Italy once again? Or is Inter going to make a bit of history as well? That is the question here. That is what we want to find today. That attack there, Kulimiani, Chueza, Messi and Foden. Ridiculous. Hopefully they can do the best today. Come on. So here we have it then. Kulimiani kicking off. I don't know why I've got the focus of areas in the top right corner there for the, uh, I don't know, the, the training, the practice. I don't know what the hell is the challenge is from EA, but... It's gone away now, so I completed it for some reason, but maybe it's just a technical glitch. But come on, we focus on the game at hand today. We had the kickoff. Let's go, come on. Already uh, pretty much 10 minutes in now, though nothing's really opening up. But I'll tell you what, it might be now. Foden, can he get an LB wide there? Back to Mendy. Never overlap there. Inside pass. Mendy got to go back out wide, but couldn't do it past the lever. And into recover well. The question is, can we trap him in the corner here? And they haven't. They've done really well to get it out. Fair play to them. We're in position back with Juventus and Foden. That's a really bad ball from Phil Foden. And now it could be a one-on-one, -on -one, but Sakaria's is there. A fan free, but does really well in defensive. Come on, let's get something going. It's an LBY there. I don't know who's making that run. I can't tell. And Skriniar does really well to block it out, though. I'll tell you what, at the moment, it's a 50-50 game. El Masafi, well, from Bremer. But the backer from the Marco finds Dan Juma, the former Everton man. But then Sakaria goes back. It's back and forth with these two teams. Come on, let's go. Here we go, Messi inside to Koulimiane. Can get the ball through there to Phil Foden? We can. Phil Foden back into Koulimiane here. We could need this right now. It's a good goal from Koulimiane. I think we're going to do it. Juventus strike blood first. However you want to bloody call it. We have made it 1-0 to the lead leaders in Inter. We need this win. We cannot settle for draws. We need to win this game. What a goal that was. Well done from Phil Foden and Koulibian. A very tight bit of tiki tacker there. But then to link it up have been probably tremendous throughout the season. That is why we're in all the finals and winning trophies. Come on. So as it stands, we will win the league. Pep would have done the treble and could be on the verge of getting the quadruple against PSG in the Champions League final, which we will get into after this game. But let's focus on the task at hand now. El Marassi. Plays it through. Can Nelson's could be potentially through it inside the Dan Juma. And Inter advance it back straight away. It escalated quickly. With the former Inter man, the Afro man, the microphone head man in Dan Juma. It's a great ball over the top there. Canales, we just missed that interception there. It's a good composed player there from Canales. Finds number nine in Dan Juma. And what a finish indeed. I can't believe it. They've answered back straight away. So I might have jinxed myself right there. Now the title goes into the hands of Inter if it stays like this. Like I said, we need to get the result. 19 goals in 36 games for Zanjuma. He's been more bigger threat than Latara the teams, it seems. And I don't think he's that high overall as well. So fair play to him. It's a bit of a threat. Radio ball gets worked back into the middle here. Approaching half time. Be good to get a bit of a shot going here. Couldn't do it. There was still a lot of potential though. Back who could head down. And then Bernardo Silva gets challenged again. Not the best game, Bernardo Silva, I've got to say. Tom Martinez as well goes back to DeMarco. Still a live hit. Goes in. It's not good, is it? I mean, Tanjima Latira causing havoc, but backward does really work. Can we just get the ball out now? I'll go into half time and we have gone into half time. I'm kind of glad that half time has come. 
We need to change some things up because we're doing okay in the attack, it seems, but more defensively. And I'll say with Bernardo Silva, they've been a little bit sloppy, to be honest. So some changes there against a very powerful Inter Milan team. I'll let you know if I made any changes. Real ladies and gentlemen, I said there potentially could be changes, and there is. There is two. Faguli comes on for Bernardo Silva. Just having a bit of a poor game, and we need more of a defensive player, I feel like, because, like I said, Dan Juma and Latara Martinez are absolutely causing havoc. And that is the reason why, as well, I brought on Lacrosse as well in the defensive role for Bremer. Just a bit more pace at the back, and hopefully that can help us out. But let's focus on the second half here. Well done from Furlong Mendy. A very good left back indeed. Another very good recommendation there from the comments to bring him in. And look at this look. Running right through down the wing. No one's catching up to him. Keep going, my son. Why not? Kulamioli raises his hands in the middle, but Saliba does well to block out there. Well done. Corner kick now. Come on, boys. We need to get the result today. No more messing around. Barella swings in the boys. Going into the mix. He's ahead of goal. What a good save. And off the line from Canals. I can't believe it. Down line there. Mendy on the ball. There's still people in the box. But they're going to give it to Phil Foden. Foden inside. Look at the tiki taka. Faguli does well. Still keeps it alive. Gives it to Foden. The sleeve does really well to intercept it though. Kovacic. Lovely little movement there. Goes into El Marathi. Dimasco. He's played with the top there. Damasco's done really well to block out though. Got to do well one and across there. Substitution, the centre back does really well. 63 minutes in now. El Marathi has gone off. Who's he gone on for? Is Rabiot fair enough? Former Juventus man, I do believe. Bit of a wrap right there. One from there. Come on, Foden. Good blocker there. Well done for a bit of skill there from Phil Foden. Come on, Foden. You've got this in the bag, my man. He's one of the most high rate players. Can he find Lionel Messi? He can find Messi. Ah, Messi just can't find the turn, but it's a bad pass. Could we worked in still? Couldn't be only what a turn. And then Makano does really well. We've got to get this goal. Dan Jumas on the ball now. Here comes Inter. They could be running through the canals. Cuts inside, goes into Dan Juma. Don't let him turn. Well done, the cross. Out we go. Header out there on the attack potentially now. Looking at Messi. The pen to pull back. Hasn't got the legs that he used to, but I'll tell you the one man I has, and that's Kulimiani. Can he get a goal today? He can! It's Kulimiani! Number nine! He's done it again. Messi with the assist. And he could be one of the best players in the world at the moment. Kulimiani, the ratings there, the pace. I told you we needed someone of Vlahovic. Vlahovic won't have done that. I'm telling you now, he hasn't had the agility, he hasn't got the legs for it. But Kulimiani, our new number nine, has. He slots it away past Onana. The question is, can we keep this lead? Come on. So Kulo and Miani there in the 77th minute makes it 2-1. As it stands, we should win the league. Oh, bad challenge there from Mendy, though. Come on, boys, keep it alive. And they pulled it back for the advantage. Mario, lads, it's time to say goodbye to the main man. Kulo Miani comes off for Moretti here. A big moment for this kid. He knows we got bags of potential. We all know what he's capable of from pre-season. Come on, though. we just got to defend this set piece here. This little corner here. No well done. Rabiot. Back inside. Well done from back. I said corner there a minute ago. I mean, a set piece. I've had a shocker. But come on, we can get on the attack here. A bit of a gap going here. Gives it in to Foden. Back out wide here. They don't want to look who's in the middle with Moratti as well. Can he get it into him? Moratti's there. He goes for the old days. should maybe try and go back post. Still alive, though. Inside to Messi on the volley. Oh, Nanana with a great save. What a goal that would have been from Lionel Messi on the left peg. Cole Palmer comes on for Phil Fulham as well. We want them fresh legs. Mkhitaryan comes on for Canal. So throwing everyone at it. Come on now. Cole Palmer, the new Chelsea man. We're going to go to the defence. We're going to be a rat. We want to secure the title. Scoring a back post. Moretti's there. Can't get it, though. But diving header. Inside to Barella. Good turns there. It's done really well. At this rate, I think we might have won it. Can we go in? It's going to be another corner. But ladies and gentlemen, I think we have won the title. Corner kick. Now, what can we do from this? I think we're going to be a bit right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go short. Why not? Let's hold it in the corner. What are they going to do? Get it into Barella. Screw it. We're going to cross it in. It's a good point to the cross. And a good save from Onana. Ref just blow the whistle. We've won this game. Let's just get it in. Why not? Let's just get it in and see what happens. Nana surely got a catch up there. And he has. And that is game, set in match. We have done the treble. Juventus. Oh, your Serie A champions. 
Pep Guardiola has done it. Congrats to the boys. The question is, can we go on to win the Champions League now? That's going to be the big ask. Let's go. So no messing around now. We're heading to the San Siro for the Champions League final against PSG. The same lineups. It's got to be our best squad against theirs. Look at their team. The Rears, Mbappe, Dade, Verratti, Virginia, Hernandez, Marquinhos, Mukulele, Hakimi, Gramello, and Navas Ingo. A very strong team. Who's going to come out top? Is Pep got to do the quadruple? Let's find out. So here we have it then. Paris Saint-Germain against Juventus. Messi going back to one of his former clubs in PSG. Didn't have the best time there, but he wasn't too bad. He wasn't too bad, but he is now with Pep in Juventus. Mbappe versus Messi. Who's going to come out on top? Let's go. So here we have it then. More bloody training than the uh, top right corner objectives. I don't know what, why we got them right there. It's so irritating. I don't know how to turn that off. It's just randomly occurred. I haven't got a clue, but come on, boys. Let's try and win this. Mbappe running through now. Grimello on the ball. What's he going to do here on the ball? He pulls it back. Goes into Abu Riez. But now Bernardo uh, gets a bit crunched there. Oh, could be a foul, but we have actually brought back for a foul. Happy days from the ref. Can we get something going now from this? That's the question. Cage off guard a little bit. Inside there to Lionel Messi. Didn't have a really good game against Inter, but he's got to start. It's Lionel Messi, for God's sake. He has to be starting in this team. Chueza. Let's play this. Inside. Messi to make the run, and no one's making a run. There was someone for the LBY, but Granado intercepts it there. Fair play. Nukulele running through. Gives to Dada. Dada could run through here now. Gives it into Varane. No one's closing there. Verratti, and it's 1 0 to PSG. It's not the start that Juventus wanted. Verratti, the Italian there, has put it 1 0 up against Juventus in the final. Pep's going to be fuming with that. There was no one there to actually mark him, to be honest. Everyone ran away from Rayo. I mean, everyone was just focusing, I think, on Mbappe. And because of it, we let the little man get in behind. And number six makes it 1-0 to PSG. Come on. So Donnarumma gets beaten by one of his former teammates. We need to bounce back. Come on, boys. Bremer does well. Inside to Bernardo. Inside there to Barella. This is more like it from the team. Look at the Tiki Taka. So much better there. Foden. And he's made it one all. I'm Phil. Phil Foden has answered back. With a lovely bit of Tiki Taka. Between four individuals of our team. That have done absolutely amazing throughout this season. This is the team in the watch in the world at the moment in Juventus. We're the best team in the world. We're here to conquer the Champions League final. And Foden brings it back. Look at this Tiki Taka. Boom. Boom. And boom. And the little dink there from number 47 just slots her home. The little dink in the right-hand corner there. What a finish from Foden. What a bit of play. Come on, let's mess up, not mess up again. Radio, we have answered back. Can we keep her alive now, though? Can we just keep going here? Grimalo plays into Vitinha. Very good player indeed, Vitinha. Will not be a bad player to get into this team, potentially. Run through there, one from Baku there. And he tried, tried to keep it in. That's unlucky from him. He's done well though, he's won it back there, but he's lost it again. That's twice in a row now. Let's not make it three in a row, please. Uh, he's done well, Mbappe's on the ball now. Grimaldo, the Spaniard. Getting a lot of the ball, and went from Bremer. He helps out his mate in there, Mbappe. Well done, come on, boys. Oh, that's a big mistake there for Mbappe. Oh, do not want to give Mbappe the ball. It's gone back to Mbappe! Woo! And I said Mbappe made the mistake, but I've had a shock. It was Bremer that made the mistake. Oh, and you do not want him to get the ball. Mbappe brings one back for PSG. We're now losing again. This is not good. Nice little play there. Back into Mbappe. Oh, I think Donnarumma showed them better there. But brilliant finish from the Frenchman. The best Frenchman in world football. Does it again. So a massive mistake there at the back from Bremer has cost us a goal to let the big turtle man in Kane Mbappe to score. And we have some back though. Another Frenchman up top though. Plays it through to Foden. Oh, well, look at that turn from Foden. Unbelievable turn from Foden. Phil Foden, can he do it again? Kulamani. Oh, that's so unlucky. I thought Foden did an absolute madness there. Turned them players inside out. We just couldn't get it. Mbappe now. One from Bremer gets a revenge there. Come on, boys. Let me get this ball out here. Just going to go back to the keeper. And play a bit safe. Radio PSG somehow got the ball back again. They've got no one to lock onto here. This ain't good. Went from Takara. 
Oh, a bit of a mistake there, a bit unfortunate. Out we go, please. Come on, one more before the break, perhaps, and we couldn't do it there. Messi gets a bit angry at Fernandez there, takes him out. But we need a big second half if we want to win this Champions League team against a team that should probably go on to win it every year, but they don't do it. But could this be this year? Could this be Mbappe's year to win it? Or oh, can Pep get the quadruple? We need to bounce back in the second half. I'll let you know for me. Any changes? Right, ladies and gentlemen, no changes for me in the second half. The only thing I have done is put Messi in the camera and Foden back out wide. I feel like Messi's going to be more of the technical player, so we need more of that pace on the wing. So that is why he goes in the middle and Foden out wide. See if that makes a bit of a difference there. Foden's on the wing now. A little pullback out from him. Still Foden. He's a bit of an option. Well done. Bernardo. Bernardo does well. Oh, just trying to get... Oh, hello. Still alive. Still get something out of this. Well done there. Inside there, Chueza's all open. Chueza's got a bit of a gap there. Goes for the pot shot. Couldn't get it though. Still alive. Goes to Kulimiani. Kulimiani. Pull back there. Lovely little from him. Oh, Navas. Oh, so unlucky. Kulimiani does so well. We just couldn't put it away. Here comes PSG now. Grimaldo. Interception there. From Bernardo. Nice bit of play this. This is the famous Tiki Taka. Ah, we just couldn't get one more. Would have been nice there. 60 minutes in now, though, still a wild game. And Bappi's made a mistake there. A heavy touch from him could lead on to potential attack for us. Bernardo, Silva. Can he find Kulimiani? Can't delay it. Goes into Messi. Messi. We just cannot get that turn, can we? We just cannot get that clear cut chance at the moment with this team. One from Chueza, but it's not good enough. Sakara does well. Good interception. Out wide there. Could potentially be on. Messi's inside. Oh, it's gone to the wrong player, though. Oh, we're itching that goal. We just cannot get it going at the moment. Abba Ruiz plays it through. Hakimi. Dada. Still on the ball. It's a good ball through here. Well done there. Come on. Good pass there. Phone is making a run, but we're not going to use him there, though. Gulmione. Back into Messi. We're just making the wrong silly passes here. It's going to bite us in the ass. Try to go for a tactical one there. It's not looking good, this. Could be through. Bremer does well. Here we go. Come on. Come on, boys. There could be a bit of a tackle in here. Here we go. Come on, Foden. Phil Foden could be through on goal here. Phil Foden to potentially make it 2 all. Phil Foden. Yes! Come on. Foden grabbed the ball. We're not going to celebrate. 80th minute now. We don't want to go to penalties. Number 47 gets another goal today. It's him versus Mbappe. Not Messi versus Mbappe. It's Foden versus Mbappe today. We brought a goal back. Let's have a look at the substitutions here. Nah, <laughs> we've got to keep on Messi. We have to keep on Messi. Cole Palmer's going to be on the bench today. Come on, boys. So it's two or the can PSG bring it back to win this game? Or can we go on to win it? Mbappe makes the stake again. He's really bottling at the moment now in the second half. There's a chance inside there. Messi. Can he get the OEY quick? He can. It goes into Chueza. Look at Kulimiani. Kulimiani's there. Kulimiani. Horrible touch though. Ah, oh, the horrible touch let him down. Foden goes off away. Number eight overall comes on the wing. Hakimi goes off. That was a chance there. And it's a goal kick as well. Oh, the heavy touch let us down. Radio. Are we going to get any more chances in this half? Or is it going to go to extra time? That's the question. Oh, is PSG going to nick it? Not like this, though. They're going to get a potential last chance, I reckon. Rep, blow the bloody whistle, please. Not like this. Oh, I just got to block it out. I don't know how Grimaldi didn't play that ball there. Good challenge there from Baku. But he's brought it back for a foul, which is very harsh. We've got another occasion in the top right corner as well. No, tell me not to do it. Oh, whatever. That's not a foul, ref. One last chance. Can Mbappe do it? Goes in the box there. Here we go. Oh, is that a goal? Oh, my God. How did that not go in? How did that not go in? I can't believe it. It looks like we're going to extra time. What a game we've had here. A four goal thriller in the Champions League final. How they didn't score at the end there, I don't know. But I'll let you know for many changes and we'll get to the extra half in the Champions League final. Real ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to make no changes again into this half. I feel like the team is confident as it is. I feel that it's got something still to offer with the players on the pitch. Mbappe going for a solo run, it seems like. Dodd has gone off, though, I think, from Renato Sanchez. Mbappe could be through here. Well done there. Oh, we just couldn't get it when that was done well. A little bit of ticky-tacka there, but we've still got a lot. Now we won the ball back. Way into Messi. Can he find Koulimiani? 
He can find Kulimiani, I think. Kulimiani could be through here. Kulimiani! And we've got the goal in the extra half. And of course, it's got to be Kulimiani. Even the bloody subs are on the pitch. We needed that goal. We've hit him straight away in the extra half. And now all the pressure is on PSG. That man there. I'm going to say it. If it's that so good, he could go on to win the band all the season. What is that replay? We might as well skip it, but come on. So 3-2 in extra time. The first half advantage to Juventus. The question is, can they bounce back? So World Cup events now, but we could potentially go through with PSG. Bad pass there from Mbappe. Back with what a turn that is. Go for even more here. Good ball here. We could actually finish this game here. Lionel Messi could be running through. Look at the back post as well. Kulibiani is there. Can Messi find him? Kulibiani! He's done it again! He's done it again! Messi with another assist. And I think we've done it. Extra time has come in clutch for Juventus. And I think Pep and that team have done the quadruple. Hey, where's this come from? I mean, why can we do this in the 90th minute? PSG have absolutely collapsed. And we have capitalised. We've got a substitution here. Palmer on for Messi. Why not? We've done it, I think. We have done it. We've just got to survive now. So substitution, as we can see there, Messi goes off. He's had a brilliant game, getting a couple of assists, and Cole Palmer comes onto the pitch. 4-2. Just back-to-back -back goals in the uh, extra half there. I mean, couldn't write it. Couldn't write it. What a final we've got here, but PSG answering back straight away. But how's the ref blown it there? That's really harsh. That could have been a goal-scoring chance there for PSG. But... It looks like Mbappe knows it. Like he knows he's on his knees. I think it's heading back to Italy and Juventus. The Champions League final is only 15 minutes away. Let's get on with it. Rio, ladies and gentlemen, just two substitutions now. Chueza goes off for Mudrik. Bit of rotation around. You've just seen on the ball there. Lacrosse comes on the pitch as well for Sakaria. Again, just fresh legs. Giving people a game in the final. Why not? Cole Palmer, I tell you what, we can absolutely finish him off here. Kulimiani goes into Mudrik. Mudrik pulled back there. Back to Kulimiani. He's going for the finesse shot here, but he hasn't really got the shot outside the boot, has he? Let's be honest. Murray comes on for him. Why not? The youngster comes on as well. Let's bring him on the pitch there. But yeah, Kulimiani hasn't really got the range outside the box, as he's more of an inside the box player there, but unlucky. Let's say Neymar's come on the pitch here. Gives it to Mbappe. Well, and there from Bremer. Look at that defending. Well done indeed. Just going to go back there. Well done. Donnarumma made the correct choice going to Juventus and Pep Guardiola because look what's happened. He has just won potentially four trophies. Murray is running through now. Murray, the young lad. Oh, I was just trying to get past Marquinhos there. We tried to do something special there, but we couldn't do it. We go here. Lacrosse. Oh, look at that. Look. Look at the composure from here. Gives it to Mendy. The game's gone quiet. It knows that we have won the Champions League final. Goes into Mudrik now. What can Mudrik do here? Gives it into Murray. Murray, uh, he just can't get past Marquinhos to be fair. He's still young, he's still got a lot to learn. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The quadruple has been completed. We have won every possible trophy we could do this season. And it has ended with the Champions League final. That's it. We have done it. I mean, PSG and Pep Guardiola has come to an end, it seems. We have completed our objective of taking over Juventus and leaving them on a high. The Champions League is heading back to Italy. Cole Palmer there with Mudrik as well. Two young talents on their hands on the Champions League medal. I mean, you know, Cole Palmer won the Champions League with Man City at that age and now with Juventus. He could be a very, very big talent in the near future. What a star he has become. But there it is. The Champions League has been won and the quadruple has been completed. The question is, what is our stats like to the end of the season? Because that's what I'm more intrigued about the most, to be honest. I mean, if we're winning all these cups, then you can see it as well. We're messy getting this assist, calling Miano doing bits. Their stats are going to be unreal, unbelievable. I can't even speak. Because Barella has just lifted the Champions League trophy. Well into the boys. Let's continue on. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Confirmation of we have won the Champions League 4-2 against PSG. We left it late, but we absolutely smacked them in the extra time first half right there. Just confirmation as well, because we didn't get to see the lift the trophy as well very weirdly for the Serie A. But there you can see it. We have finished first on goal difference by a massive margin. But that's what I'm saying with the stats with the team. I'm intrigued to see it. And like as we course, we won the Super Cup and the Coppa Italia. The quadruple has been completed for Pep Guardiola. Let's look at the stats for this team. 
So here we have it then. Here is the stats for the team for this season. And I'm, Jesus Christ, look at the stats of some of these players right here. I mean, starting off with Chueza here. Unbelievable from him. 23 goals in 57. Bernardo, 11-11 as well. Kulamiani being our best player. 28 goals. Definitely player of the season, it seems like. 37. And Phil Foden, 25-19. and 19. Silly stats. But where the hell is Messi? Ah, oh, there he is. Just below him well. I mean, again, just pinning up good numbers as well. I mean, look at the Champions League, for example. 10 games, 5 goals and 6 assists is ridiculous. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We'll quickly show it as well on the... Let's have a look at my career for Pep Guardiola. There it is, 103 games played, 69 wins, 21 draws and only 13 losses. With our biggest win against Lisa, there. 6-0 win right there. And a 3-1 loss to Monza, which I believe was the game we actually played with uh, Mudrik, I do believe, against him right there. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have completed this takeover with Juventus and Pep Guardiola. If you did like this video and want to see more in the near future, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.